Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. Uh, if you would allow me, allow me before I get into the, the motion at hand to comment on two matters. Um, I first would want to join with the member for Denry North in congratulating the students who performed exceptionally well under the CSEC, um, our recent exams, um, Mr. Deputy Speaker. Our students have performed incredibly well among the Caribbean, and I think it's something we all should be proud of. In fact, um, I was very, very elated to see the number of students from the Shozel Saldivas community who are also shining on that list of top performance. And so I think it's something that all of us as a country should be very proud of. So Deputy Speaker, I also would like to take the, want to take the time to indicate to Miss Ulika Makiba Frederick, our Miss Universe representative from the community of Mont Sion Chosel, and to let her know that we as St. Lucians and as Chozelians are extremely proud of her performance on the world stage. We followed her and we were very happy with the amount of presentation and presence she had on, on social media and how she represented her country. I think, um, you know, when we have um, any St. Lucian flying our flag as a country, all of us need to be proud and show our full support behind them. I was also happy to notice the Minister for Creative Arts also did put his piece to acknowledge her, her, her representation and her contribution. Um, I also want to take the time, Mr. Deputy Speaker, to sympathize with a number of families in, in my community um, who have lost loved ones or who, also, or, or who are also suffering with various um, ailments, particular, particularly cancer. Um, it seems, Mr. Speaker, that, you know, in fact, throughout the island, there seem to be a lot of sudden deaths and, and, and sudden illnesses that has come upon our people. And, and, and you know, we have to sympathize with these people in, in, in the times that we're living in. I'm actually elated, Mr. Deputy Speaker, with the motion in, in, before us today. And I say that because I am convinced that what we're seeing here is as a result of the previous administration of which I was a member of cabinet has set a bar of, by which this government is following. I think we showed significant interest in the deplorable state of our school plant and we went full steam ahead to try to make a difference. As I have said in this house and other places, the community of Shozel Saldibas undoubtedly has the most schools on island. And I remember in the thrust to provide support to rehabilitate some of these schools, every single school in my community was touched, either ceiling repaired, um, roof repaired, particularly toilet, um, toilet, toilet plants. In fact, we have a, a um, former school principal, now member of the cabinet in our gallery, and I, she will remember the plea she made to me to ensure that the school at which she was principal of at the time got a new um, toilet facility, toilet block. And we delivered, likewise, we delivered on many other um, schools in, in the community. And as the, 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 the member for Denry North has indicated, 16 million EC dollars is a drop in the ocean when it comes to um, addressing the, 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 the faults in our nation's schools. But I believe we can only improve over time. And I'm happy that that thrust is being paid to our schools. I am particularly pleased when he mentioned the reunion school because um, I remember after the, the um, construction of the, the Lafag secondary school, in conversation with um, the Ministry of Education, the reunion school was a school that was identified as having serious structural um, weaknesses and would have been paid attention to. So I'm very happy that that, was the, that, that, that school was identified in, um, in, in, the, in, the, in the list of schools to be paid attention to. Um, 
I think it was very unfortunate a statement that the, the Prime Minister made when he mentioned that unlike his administration, the work that was done, some of it was, being, was, was very shoddy. Um, I think that was an unfortunate statement because all works were supervised by the technical people from the ministry, and I'm aware that they were very, very rigid in terms of their pursuit of excellence. And even the principals in many of the schools are very happy with some of the work that, that, that has been done. So um, that, 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 you know, I think, you know, we need to stop throwing some of these, these jabs. Um, the, the member for Castri South is, um, I normally, you know, learn some things from him because of his previous, well, not previous, but because of his qualifications. And he normally put something out there that I, you know, that I, I, I have not, I did not know in the past. Um, today, I, you know, I question his, his contribution, although he did say something which um, was very important. And, and I think um, the ministry need to pay particular attention to it. And that is with regard to the kind of um, toilets that we put in the schools. I never realized that there were special toilets that could have been, that could go into the, into the school plan because I only visited a school two weeks ago where we had completely done over the toilets and everything only to see that all toilet seats were already destroyed and the state of the toilet. So um, I know it's, 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 it's costing, but I think it's something that you know, we have to invest in because unlike, like you say, some of the secondary school students you know, in the primary school, you know, we have to exercise a lot more patience with, with some of the students and, 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 and um, the way they, they, they use the facility. So um, that I'm hoping that, you know, we will get to that level. Um, while we talk about school rehabilitation, um, Mr. Deputy Speaker, I am hoping that in all of the rehabilitations that are going to be done, that attention will be paid to special needs because we have quite a few of these um, in our communities and you know railings and the necessary rumps will be will be put in place um, because you know I have seen the difficulties by students not being able to access and enjoy the facilities with ease like like um, other other students who, who are you know um, better endowed in, in, in terms of um, their mobility. Um, that being said, Mr. Speaker, I think um, it is a positive move in the right direction, and I'm hoping that we can see as a government, and you know, we have to um, engage in that sort of positive um, um, way forward with regards to um, institutions, particularly where our, our students are, are engaged in. Um, so I'm looking forward to work being done in the communities, and I, I, I do believe that, you know, it's a positive step that this government has taken in following what we have started. I thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker.